Let me move on to another subject because it involves the nation's capital where some liberal commentators are saying that Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, who is 69 years of age and a lifelong diabetic, that she should retire while Joe Biden is president and the Democrats control the Senate. Sotomayor is the oldest member of the court's liberal wing. Now, while Democratic senators are not joining calls for Sotomayor to step down, they are expressing unease that history could repeat itself. You may recall that 81-year-old Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg refused to step down in 2014 to allow then-President Barack Obama the opportunity to name a liberal successor. Ginsburg ultimately died in September of 2020, which allowed then-President Donald Trump to replace her with conservative Justice Amy Coney Barrett and swing the Supreme Court sharply to the right. Why did I want to point this out? Because once again, the Democrats and their potential arrogance are getting in the way. I am not going to be silent about this. Why am I not going to be silent about it? Because what you're doing ain't working. And somebody needs to say it. You still got a chance. In like six or seven polls, Trump is ahead. Biden is sliding with blacks. Biden is sliding with Latinos. What are we going to do, sit idly by and let things keep happening? with the Democratic Party? Yeah, you've got a little bit unease, but you're not calling for Sotomayor to retire. Why not? Call for her to retire. Call for her to retire. If you think something's gonna happen to her because her health is being compromised and she might not be around, and God help us if Trump wins the election and then she's still on the courts, but she ultimately passes away, he'll be able to shift the pendulum from 6-3 to 7-2 in favor of the conservatives on the court. Is that what you want? Why are we bringing this up? Because with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, God bless her soul, we don't talk about this enough. So let me recount for y'all some of the reports that have been out there for years. When Barack Obama was in office, the administration wanted Ruth Bader Ginsburg to retire. She was struggling, having battled cancer, her health wasn't ideal. She had creeped up there significantly in age. And they said, hey, retire so we can put another court on a justice. Do you know what Ruth Bader Ginsburg said at that particular moment in time? You know what the report said that she said? She didn't want to step down because she wanted a female to appoint her successor. Ladies and gentlemen, she assumed Trump would lose and Hillary Rodham Clinton would win in 2016. And because of an assumption, instead of the court being split 5-4, it ultimately shifted to 6-3 in favor of the conservatives because Ruth Bader Ginsburg made the assumption that Hillary Rodham Clinton would not lose to Donald Trump. She thought about herself and the fact that despite all of her great work throughout the years, that she herself wanted a female to appoint her successor. She looked through her lens, not through the big collective lens. And liberals across America lament how much it's cost their party. Now we fast forward to the year 2024. Is Sonia Sotomayor going to do the same thing? Is the Senate Democrats going to allow her to do the same thing? Are congressional figures going to allow her to do the same thing? Are we going to sit idly by and say nothing? History tells you you shouldn't do that. History tells you that if you're a liberal, you should insist that anybody that's on that side of the aisle, that's contemplating stepping down, or that some believe should step down, in this case, Sonia Sotomayor, 69 and a lifelong diabetic, you should push for that. And you should push for it now. Because it ain't looking good for Biden. There's no guarantee that he's going to be in office come January of 2025. And by the way, that ain't because of his age or some quote-unquote slippage, it's because he will have lost the election. 
Wake up. Think ahead. And stop arrogantly assuming that the votes are going to be there for you to have. Because you don't know that anymore. Not with this administration, not with these problems in the world, and not with Trump reportedly gaining traction amongst blacks and Latinos, according to the polls, not Stephen A. Wake the hell up. Stop assuming, stop taking for granted, stop letting your arrogance shine as a party. Compete. Look ahead. Think ahead. And you might actually win something when it really, really counts. Other than the midterms, of course, because that red wave never happened. That's all I got to say about that.